you might remember when we perform, for example, we will gather the gamelan, carry the gamelan, and then we set up the gamelan together. For more or less every Sunday for the past three years, the Busy Island Gamelan Community Orchestra has met here, a small room in the music education wing at the University of Victoria. Today, and for the last few weeks, we've been preparing for a performance at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver. The event marks 60 years of diplomatic ties between Indonesia and Canada, and it is the first that will see us off the island as a group. Before we begin rehearsing, Sutrisno and his family have us over for dinner. Pak Choko, a gamelan master and Sutrisno's teacher, has come from Los Angeles to lend us his skills for this weekend's performance. Tonight, Victoria-based puppeteer Tim Gosley is hosting us at his studio for a small performance to help us prepare for the event in Vancouver. Thankfully, Sutrisno knows how to improvise. It's another ogre, but even probably more polite, this one. <laughs> We spend the night before we leave for Vancouver helping Sutrisno and his family pack up their things. Under the strain of mounting tuition costs, the night after a performance in Vancouver, Sutrisno and his family are moving to China, where he's been offered a job teaching gamelan. Leonard Housinga once wrote, Javanese gamelan is comparable only to two things, moonlight and flowing water. It is pure and mysterious like moonlight. It is always the same and always changing, like flowing water. Nevertheless, the ship's hum begins sounding like the last vibrations of a gong, and my thoughts become preoccupied with the evening's performance.
When we arrive at SFU, we begin the same rituals. First, the gamelan needs to make its journey from the cupboard to the stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, the land enclosed the water. Two, the crops planted in the land. Three, the mountain, earth's axis, four, the sea, encircling the land. Five, the forest leaves covering all. Six, the plain where castle grease. Seven, the seers blessed the gods. Eight, the sky over the earth. Number nine, the cards, motels of people. Ten, the king, jewel among men. Very fortunate tonight. Thank you for coming. And we are also very happy. We'll entertain you and ourselves. And we are very pleased to have Professor Joko Waluyo, one of my teachers from Java, uh, come with us. So enjoy the gamelan. Thank you. Thank you.
people who never see the gamelan they will figure out where the gamelan come from that the exoticism in this regard exoticism perhaps bring the audience to see where the gamelan come from it must be special so they they will find out oh they come from indonesia where is indonesia the concept of the music is sharing sharing beauty sharing the energy sharing the feeling for me i consider home in this regard my home country back in java or i consider that canada is also my second home when i perform in canada there are kind of similarities and difference in canada the most people have no experience or background how to play gamelan culturally musically historically it's different because different background different perspectives they thought that kind of awkward what the heck of music is that very much difference no notations but we can play in one queue everyone enjoy to play together that is not western traditions this is Japanese tradition I call this is the gamelan the unique of gamelan